Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Insmark Sign, this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 1, Episode 15 of Legends of Tomorrow, and it's called Destiny. So, we start off with uh, Kendra and Carter are turned over to Savage as he returns to 2166, where he kills Rip's family again. And then we have Sarah and Sonara who evade capture and make plans to rescue the team with the help of Gideon. So basically what they did was they infiltrated all the other ships and messed with them and tampered with them. And basically, um, <laughs> they're in for a fun surprise. So then we have the Druze explains to Rip that the Time Masters um, helped Savage because of the alien race from the planet Thanagar will attack Earth in 2175. And only Savage is able to unite the world to stop them. Drews also revealed that Oculus, which is Time Masters, um, which they used to manipulate Rip's team, among various others, to facilitate Savage's rise of power, including orchestrating the murder of Rip's family. So, these lovely people were the ones that basically offed his family, got them to recruit these, as they call, as the Time Masters called them, nobodies, to help manipulate them to orchestrate um, Savage's rise to power in the world. So, he's, Rip is pissed, the team is pissed, everyone's just kind of pissed off. And so then um, we cut to where Sonara and Sarah disable the other time ships and rescue the others. So the team decides to destroy the Oculus, only to find Druze waiting for them with soldiers. And so, um, we also see that Jax went back to 2016 and talks to, um, Stein and, you know, before they went on the trip in the first place and basically, um, <laughs> basically what they did was he tells them that everything's going to be fine. I just need to recuperate for a minute and you know, tells him that you've been super nice and really cool and gave him the idea to drug him to take him on to the trip. Because Martin doesn't really do that. He'll really, not really goody two shoes, but more or less have like more ethics than the rest of the team. <laughs> so anyway, Jax returns to, uh, to the jump ship and kill an awesome soldiers, but the success of the Ico Seth's destruct costs the life of Snart, who takes Drews out with him. Because originally, because uh, they showed Rip the Oculus and actually put him in the Oculus and showed that Ray was the one that was supposed to die, or one of them was. I think it was Ray. And so they go in knowing that, and what they did was um, Stark was the one that decided to do it. He's like, I got no strings left on me. And was that, and gave Sarah a kiss. They kiss, you know, it's like a farewell kiss. And. That was actually a really good scene. I really liked it. And now um, Mick is kind of like distraught as well. So anyway, um, then Savage learns of the unpredictability of the timeline to the destruction of the Oculus and decides to make use of the time traveling technology at his disposal and escapes. This was actually a really good episode. I actually thoroughly enjoyed this one. I will give this one, I give this a full on A+, because I liked how everything worked out and how there was definitely a twist because I didn't know. You know, as someone who does not read comic books, I just watch the TV shows because I thoroughly enjoy it. I was thoroughly uh, surprised and stuff, so I really did enjoy this a lot. So, what else? I think that's it. So, that's one different for this video. So, if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree, disagree? And also, leave some comments for any other suggestions or... Uh, for TV shows, music, or movies, and I'll check it out. And like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.